Why do we have this pile of lumber, you wonder? Well, there's a story behind that. When we first, it's still a little cold out here. When we first got this site, which we're really excited about because, ah, no trees, shedding pine needles all over us. Um, we actually said, hey, there's enough room for cooter back there. One problem, the RV park frowned upon, actually said it was not even allowed to put two trailers on the site. I even went from the angle, well, it's not really a trailer, it's a shed on wheels. <laughs> they didn't buy it. We put Cooter back over in his spot where he was before, and uh, we've been trying to decide what to do with this corner. And now that we've inherited, or I inherited, I guess we, my mother's freezer. It's an upright freezer, keeping it under a tarp. And yes, the box on top of it is going to be its new home. But we're going to be building a shed. And Brent's, when the weather cooperates a little bit more. Uh, when we get a little bit more than uh, two hours of sunshine, yes. Yeah, or even just dry weather. Um, we're gonna put up a deck here where the dogs are fighting. And then we will gonna put that shed in there. We'll show you when it's all done. Good morning. Good morning. You've been busy yesterday. Yeah, I got a few things accomplished, yes. Okay, so you got the, our frame set up here. Uh, get the frame for the uh, storage shed. And uh, I'm going to work today, so I'm not going to be able to help you put that the cover over it. I have to put the cover over it, and then I've got to put two small, uh, well, at the base of it, there's uh, two arms that go in, but they have to wait till the cover's on because it locks everything together. Okay. Well, we'll do that tomorrow. When we can do that tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, but in the meantime, you're going to be busy out back here. Yeah, I've uh, got the base started for a small uh, deck that... The shed is going to sit on. Yeah, you got lots of helpers today. Yeah. <laughs> One of them will be leaving shortly when his dad comes home from work. Yeah, so I basically I'm just going to put a 6x8 deck, 2x6 decking, and 2x4 cross members. And once that's all done, the shed can go up here and we can put everything away. Like. All of our storage. Freezer and all that sort of stuff. Freezer and a fridge and my bike. Yeah. A generator, a few odds and ends. Yeah, and then we'll uh, got some new planters, so we're going to sort out the pots tomorrow. We're going to have a couple sunny days just to... Uh, yeah, beautiful sunny days. Get to, 10 or 12 degrees Celsius today, so... It's still kind of cold for me. Um, so I'm going to let you go to it, and we're gonna, you're going to set up the GoPros to film the process. Yeah, give me a time lapse and you can take a look at that. Okay. All right. I gotta go to work. Bye. Bye bye.
Yeah, a lot of work here there, Brent. Yeah, it's been a busy couple of days. So we got our frame all set up. You've done the deck. Deck is all built. Well, I did that yesterday, so we saw that on slow-mo. Yeah. And uh, now we're gonna put it all together. Put the frame. Well, the deck is all done. I put a couple of coats of Thompson water seal on it. And it's still a little bit tacky, but that's okay because it's an outdoor deck. And we just have to put this frame on, and then we're gonna throw a cover on it and mount it to the deck itself and everything should be good and we can start using it for storage. Sweet! So we'll move stuff in tomorrow. Absolutely. It's getting a little late in the day. I was watching my grandsons while my daughter went and ran 30k in the mountains. It took her four, over four hours. The girl's got stamina. first part put the uh, tarping on we had the enclosed end which is the back side um, on this end which is where we wanted it open this, oh need to... stop thank you <laughs> so that's our little shed we're just gonna finish putting the last little bits all these little knobby things have to go on to secure it to uh, the tenting through little eyelets there um, just secure that to the framework and then from there we also have to nail it or screw it down into the deck which will take a whole 10-12 seconds okay we'll continue with this, this on uh, some time lapse Okay, so we show off our little shed? Sure. Okay, you uh, show it, do the honors. <laughs> Careful. Oh, you're not gonna roll it up? That does roll up. <laughs> Flips off nice and easy, but this is the easier way to, do it, to show okay. you. And when you're over six feet tall, then it's easy enough to do. Yes, true <laughs> so this is going to work out great for keeping all of our recycling. And then it's got our fridge and the freezer inher we inherited. We got the pro spare propane tank. We got the generator. It'll keep it all out of the weather. Yeah. Nice. And uh, we opted with the vinyl tarp with uh, steel tubing. This was in the $280 range, Canadian. Uh, the equivalent that we wanted with a hard wall was in the $2,000 range, so went with this. Yeah, and I think uh, it'll the, hold the up. The decking well. was all uh, reclaimed from work, so it was all extra stock that uh, nobody was using, and the boss said I could take it. Yay. Okay, well, let's uh, finish tidying up the other things that we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I'm not going to be skirting the trailer anymore around here, uh, I'm going to be taking all the screws and hinges and extra little bits out of the plywood and repurposing, repurposing it. it. Uh, my neighbor is actually thinking about uh, finishing his skirting, so I'm going to offer up any plywood that he wants, and then the rest is going to go to somebody else. Okay. Recycle or reuse. And that's all we wanted to talk about this week. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. Bye-bye for now. Okay. Hey, where'd you go?
you. Hello. I'm just about hitting my head on this thing. Yeah. Looks like most. Ooh. No. <laughs> Where's the sun at? Let's go over here. Sun's up there. Okay.